Take two. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for coming back to EMT Made Easy. Uh, heads up, this is my buddy. He's gonna be a patient, name's Alfonso. And I am gonna be the proctor and the EMT being assessed. So I'm gonna be talking as the EMT and the proctor, and then the patient will be talking as the patient. So first things first, and I'm gonna reference back to this to kind of explain every now and then. BSI is my scene safe. So BSI, I'm telling the proctor, I have all my gear, and I'm asking, is my scene safe? The scene is safe. Awesome. So what's my NOI or MOI? NOI, that's pretty much you are get, you getting your, your dispatch information. So your NOI is that you're being called to a park um, for a male that is having difficulty breathing. Awesome. Is this my only patient? Yes, it is your only patient. So right now at this moment, I'm gonna go ahead and call for additional resources. So need for additional resources or ALS. And I can always cancel if I want to, okay? Um, and then you're gonna be in your C-spine consideration. Since this is a medical, most likely you won't need it, but you wanna go ahead and just double check. So you can ask the patient. So right now you're in the scene. So hey, sir, did you fall down today at all? Do you have any back pain, neck pain, or head pain? No. No, all right. It's a very stern no. So at this point, I am not gonna use C-spine because I don't need it. Now, my general impression of the patient is that I have a 27 year old male uh, and he's in a tripod position trying to catch his breath. So what general impression is really is just three things. The sex, the age, and the position of the patient. You say that and then you're good to go. Then we move on to your A, AFPU. So as I'm approaching the patient, my patient is tracking me and I'm gonna ask the proctor, is this what I see? Is my patient really tracking me for this scenario? Yes, they are. Awesome, so that means I can go into my a and times three. At this point, you wanna kinda of get down at eye level, at least, and then talk to your patient. So, sir, I'm gonna ask you three silly questions, all right? Um, so, approximately what time of day is it? It is 1.15. Awesome, 1.15. Uh, do you know where we are, sir? Yes, we're at the park here in Fresno. Awesome, and what? is your name? My name is Alfonso Oliveras. Awesome, look at your ID. Yep, that's him for sure. Awesome, and why am I here today? So now I'm my chief complaint. So now, why am I here? So what, what happened today, why am I here? Well, I was doing some cardio and uh, I, found my, I found myself out of breath. Awesome, all right. So I know what's going on for the most part. So now we're completely done with the first chunk and now we go into what I call the ABCs. Just make big blocks and they'll help you out. ABCs, and after here, we're pretty much halfway done. So for ABCs airway, I'm gonna talk, ask, my, ask my proctor. First, I'm gonna state what I see, and then I'm gonna ask what I really have. So my patient is talking to me, and I see the airway is patent. Is this true? Yes, the airway is patent, awesome. So now I'm gonna be, be in my airway, and I'm in my, I just knocked out my airway, now I'm in breathing. He just messed that up, I don't like that. Not a big deal, okay. So for breathing, I want three things. I want my rate, my depth, and my quality. So what's my rate? What's my patient's rate per minute? Uh, we'll say it's 20 um, quality. I'm gonna auscultate. So actually auscultate for your patient. So we'll just pretend that his shirt's off right now. And so go ahead and breathe in for me. There you go. One more time. Again. Awesome, last time. All right, so um, I do hear some wheezing. Is that what I got for the scenario? Or in reality, I have no wheezing. Uh, the, lungs, the lung sounds are clear bilaterally. And then you ask the proctor, what do I have for the scenario? Is this really what I got? Um, they'll tell you, for this scenario, no, you have wheezing, awesome. So that's my quality. And what's my depth now? Is the depth adequate enough to sustain life? Um, it's slightly shallow, but he's hanging in there. All right, so, so from what I got, my patient is gonna need a non-rebreather um, at 15 liters per minute of oxygen. So you go ahead and hook this up to your O2 tank and we'll just go ahead and loop it around his neck to kind of signify that it's on there. So my patient is on O2. So just to kind of backtrack, airway, just make sure it's patent. If it's, is it gonna stay patent? Breathing, three things. Uh, what's the rate, quality, and depth? 
and then always give some kind of O2 for the NRMT. Give O2, some kind of O2. Now circulation is the next step. Circulation, just identify that your patient has a pulse. So my patient does have a pulse and it's normal. Is this correct? It's correct, awesome. So now I also want CTC for the skin. Uh, so color, temperature, and condition, my patient's skin is normal, dry, and warm to the touch from getting the, the pulse, that's what I got. Is this what I got for my patient? No, uh, your patient is, they're, they're warm, they're flushed, and they're diaphoretic. Okay, awesome, so let's take a note of that, continue on. And then also for circulation, do I see any obvious bleeding on my patient? Uh, no, there's no obvious bleeding, and then I would also manage for shock. Awesome, so that's A, B, C, and now D, determine transportation diesel. So get your patient load and go. If you don't load and go within 10 minutes, you're pretty much done, okay? You don't pass the test, so get that out. Now, this is a respiratory issue, so I'm going to use the mnemonic paste. So P, provoke. Sir, so just real quick, what happened uh, right before you couldn't breathe, you were having difficulty breathing? What provoked this? Uh, I was running, and I, did, and I forgot my inhaler at home. Okay, so it's, okay. So it's from running most likely. And then any associated pain? So do you have any pain anywhere? No. No pain, awesome. Uh, S stands for speech or sputum. So my patient is talk to, talking to me pretty normally. What's, how are they talking to me? So your patient will say for this scenario, they're talking in about three to four word sentences because they're trying to catch their breath, okay? And then sputum, do I see any sputum? No. Uh, and then temperature, what's my patient's temperature? They're warm to the touch. And events leading up to. Um, if you don't want to ask this again, just go ahead and repeat what they said. So, sir, you said you, you were jogging in, in the park and then you just couldn't breathe all of a sudden. You were having difficulty breathing. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Awesome. All right, so now I'm going to go into my sample history. So, signs and symptoms. Signs is what I see. It's objective. So, I see that my patient is tripod. They're having difficulty breathing. The symptoms are what my patient is telling me. They're telling me they're having difficulty breathing. And now allergies, do you have any allergies, sir? Not that I'm aware of. No, all right, so now in medications, uh, are you taking or prescribed any medication or both? I uh, just have the inhaler. The inhaler, do you have it on you? No. All right, so that's gonna make my job a little bit harder. So he has albuterol, but he's, he doesn't have it on him. So now past pertinent, pertinent medical history, Pertinent, so pertinent for the situation. So he's having a respiratory pulmonary issue. So I don't care that he broke his ankle two years ago. That's what it means. So pertinent for the situation. Um, so have you ever had any kind of any kind of um, respiratory issue like this before? Uh, yes, that's why I have an inhaler. Awesome. So you okay? Just making sure. Just double checking. Uh, then last oral intake. What was the last thing you ate, sir? Uh, protein bar. Protein bar. All right, and then events leading up to, just go ahead and say, sir, I'm just gonna double check, just wanna be super safe, you were jogging before this happened, right? Yes. Awesome. There's some stuff that is repetitive in the NREMT, but it's all about points, guys. Just get your points, just knock them out, check them out. Now, for your secondary assessment, oh, sorry, I got this new speaker, testing it out. Hope I didn't break it, we'll find out, huh? All right. Time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works, not a big deal. All right, so uh, for your secondary assessment, uh, the chief complaint. So we're going back to the chief complaint. So the chief complaint is pulmonary in nature. So I'm gonna use my IPA mnemonic. So inspect, palpate, and auscultate again, just to double check. So I'm gonna inspect, just verbalize it if you want to. It depends on your proctor, your teacher, all that stuff. But for this video, I'm just gonna verbalize it. So I'm inspecting and then ask the proctor, what do I see? Do I see any abnormalities, any bruising, any hematomas, any contusions? It's unremarkable. All right, so now I'm gonna palpate. So I'm gonna actually palpate. So push down on the sternum and then push in on the actual chest. You're feeling for crepitus. Ask, do I have any crepitus? Do I feel anything abnormal? Unremarkable. Awesome. Now we're gonna go back to uh, auscultations for your patient's chest. What do you call that again? Auscultations. Oh, okay. Auscultate. Yeah. So auscultate. So, sir, go ahead and breathe in for me. All right. Breathe in again. 
Awesome. Two more times. All right. And the last time. Perfect. Um, so they're clear bilaterally. Is that what I got for this scenario? Uh, no, for this scenario, you have wheezing throughout the chest. Awesome. So I'm done with my secondary assessment. Now I'm gonna go into my vital signs. For vital signs, we do pro bells at my school. That's just the way I teach it uh, because we like to get a full set of vitals. So pro bells, first I'm gonna get a pulse. So let me see your arm, sir. I'm gonna get your pulse. So for your pulse, I actually get a, a, an entire, a good set of uh, pulse rate. All right, so for this one, I got 64 as this pulse rate, but for this scenario, we're gonna make it 110 for this scenario. All right, so respiratory rate, my patient was breathing at about, I think it was 20 per minute. Is that still the case? Uh, yes, so your patient is still breathing at 20 per minute. Awesome, so now I'm in PRO2, so O, probels, O2 saturation. So I'm gonna get my, my patient's O2 sat. And it is working. Let me see your finger, sir. Let's give it a second. These are pretty slow. So we'll say that the O2 stat is 89 on the NRB, but in reality, it's 99. But for the scenario, it's gonna be 89 because he's having difficulty breathing and he has asthma. So now I'm in the B, Pro Bells. For Bells, actually get a blood pressure on your patient. All right, sir, so I'm gonna do it over this just for the, for time's sake. Okay. Because I don't wanna make a new video. Right. I'm gonna hang this on your sweater. So I got 112 over 78, but for this scenario, we'll say that it is 130 over 90, just because he is having difficulty breathing. So it's all gonna be jacked up, right? That's usually how it works. All right, um, eyes. So for eyes, you wanna get your little light, or we'll pretend this is the light, and you wanna come in on the side and cover one eye and then do the same for the other one. We're looking to make sure that they're actually reactive to light. So use Pearl, pupils equal and reactive to light. So as a proctor, so for eyes, my pupils equal and reactive to light. Yes, they are. Um, then lung sounds, I'm gonna get my lung sounds again just to double check or triple check. Breathe in, sir. Breathe in. Breathe in. And breathe in. Awesome, all right, I still have wheezing throughout. Yes, you do, John, you still have wheezing throughout. All right, is my patient still with me? Level of consciousness? Yes, they are. Sure am. And skins, CTC, are they still flush, diaphoretic, and, and warm? Yes, they are. Awesome, so we're done with vital signs. So from everything that I've gathered here, all this, my history, my pace, my sample, my secondary assessment, and this part specifically, this part right here, I'm gonna say that my, my chief complaint my patient is having an asthma attack. So that's what's going on with this. Intervention, I would give albuterol, but my patient doesn't have it on them. So I can't call medical control and I can't take the five rights or else I would take the five rights and call medical control to give it to my patient. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reassess this patient every five minutes because I'm a brand new EMT and I'm super scared. So I wanna double check every time. And verbal report, when I get to the hospital, hey, 